Hi, I'm Vincent Ng. In this video, we'll be introduced to NCS 55A2 mod fixed chassis router with modular port adapter support. The 55A2 is an iOS XR based aggregation router for a wide range of applications such as mobile backhaul, peering, carry Ethernet, and R5. The modular port adapters, or MPA, provides deployment flexibility to choose different types of interfaces based on requirement. MPAs are shared across fixed chassis and modular chassis. 55A2 provides a rich feature set such as MaxHack, OTN, IP over DWDM, and timing for different applications. There is also a temperature hardened version for locations without environmental support. This product is 5G ready with dense 1 gig. 10 gig, 25 gig, 40 gigs, and 100 gig interfaces. The Digital Coherent Optics, or DCO, supports IP over DWDM at 100 gig and 200 gig. 55A2 is a 2 RU box. If we look at the front panel, on the left hand side, there are 24 SFP Plus interfaces with 10 gig optic support, and on the right hand side, there are 16 SFP28 interfaces with 25 gig and 10 gig optic support. On the upper row, the two slots for MPA, each 400 gig in bandwidth. Therefore, in total, you have 1.4 terabits of bandwidth. On the front, there are two power supplies for redundancy, and they're hot swappable. On the back, there are eight fan trays with N plus one redundancy, and they are also hot swappable. The 55A2 has rich timing features. It supports both synchronous Ethernet and IEEE 1588 PDP. On the front panel, there are the timing inputs 1 PPS, 10 MHz, and TOD. For PDP, we support all current telecom profiles such as G.8265.1, G.8275.1, and G.8275.2. We also support G.8273.2 Class B clock quality. It is the first box to have an internal GNSS receiver, and you can see the antenna input on the front panel. For the architecture inside, there's one Jericho Plus MPU with 900 gig bandwidth and 4 gigabyte packet buffers, 24 SAP Plus interfaces driven directly by the MPU. For the 16 SAP 28 port, they're driven by two additional MaxHack chip, therefore they support MaxHack at 10 gig and 25 gig. And then the two MPA slots, each 400 gig. We have four flavors of MPAs supporting a combination of 10 gig SFP Plus, 100 gig QSFP28, and CFP2 interfaces. First thing to note, all MPAs have MaxHack chipset on board, so MaxHack is supported across the board. For the 12 port SFP Plus MPA, the chipset also supports OTN at 10 gig. The CFP2 port supports the Digital Coherent Optics, or DCO. DCO is an evolution of the coherent IP over DWDM technology. The current IP over DWDM line card features the CFP2 Analog Coherent Optics, or ACO, which requires an external DSP chip on the line card. The DCO combines the ACO and DSP functionality on the same pluggable CFP2 optics. So it's supported on any routers with CFP2 interface. Therefore, it is much easier to deploy. There are versions with and without the tunable optical filter or TOF for back-to-back -back operation or over a DWDM system. The DCO is interoperable with current IP over DWDM line card. And there will be also a future version supporting staircase fact for third-party interoperability. This is the end of the video. For more information, please contact your Cisco support team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>